from part A, I know that A equals 27 on 4B squared. In part B, the area on the graph shaded expressed the area shaded, and so I've been given the answer. So the area shaded, I'm going to say the area will be the big rectangle minus the bit of the cubic minus the bit of the triangle. And that's 3 times 2. So that's going to be 6 minus the integral from 0 to b of ax bx minus b squared dx minus the triangle, where that distance is 3 minus b, and that's a height of 2, so a half times 3 minus b times 2. That's going to be minus 3 plus b, and that's 6. So 6 minus 3 plus b is 3 plus b, plus the integral from 0 to b of, I need to expand that out, don't I? So I'm going to have ax times x squared minus 2bx plus b squared dx, which is the integral from 0 to b, of ax cubed minus 2abx squared plus ab squared x dx, which will be ax to the 4 on 4 minus 2abx cubed on 3 plus ab squared x squared on 2 from 0 to b, to b which is ab to the 4 on 4 minus 2ab b cubed on 3 plus ab squared b squared on 4 minus nothing, plus nothing, minus nothing. That's b to the 4, that's b to the 4, that's b to the 4, so they're all a, b to the 4s. Um, that's on top of 2, isn't it? So if I put them all over 12, that gives me 3ab to the 4s, minus, that's over by 4, so a, a b to the 4s, plus 6, so that's 6ab to the 4s. 3 and 6 is 9 minus 8 is plus ab to the 4 over 12. And I've got 3 plus b. And I know from my previous question that a equaled, what did it equal? A equaled this. That's my answer from part A. So I've got the area equals 3 plus B plus um, B to the 4 on 12 times A, and A is 27 for B squareds. So 3 goes into that 9, 3 goes into that 4, B squared goes into that B squared. So I've got 3 plus b plus 9b squared on 16. And that's exactly what I needed to show. So that's done. That's part b.